Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fill in this area right in here with some aluminum to match what it is there. And I'm also probably going to, in another episode, show you how we're gonna fabricate special brackets to hold our master cylinder reservoirs there. So come on along, uh, we're gonna cut out some aluminum, we're gonna basically drill a bunch of holes. I will have these things removable. It's the only way to get those master cylinders out from the bottom, I think would be tough. Uh, easy from the top. So we'll get some aluminum cut and then eventually this will all get kind of scratched and clear coated. That way I have the aluminum look without the headache of having to polish. So uh, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, hit please hit subscribe. Thanks. So I got a sheet of 6061 aluminum here. This is what the aluminum is on the car. You see we're going to take this sheet, I'm going to match it up and we're going to run this all the way down. So Gonna run right down the edge of the frame. So I'm gonna take my Sharpie here. We're gonna get up underneath this. And that should give us a nice pattern on the back side. Yes siree. So what I'll do is I'll uh, cut this out a couple of ways. I could use some uh, tin snips. I'm not thrilled with that way because a lot of times it bends the metal a little bit. Probably just gonna put the high speed back on a grinder. It'll cut through this like butter and it'll make a nice clean edge. Then I come in here, fit it again. If I have to come back a little bit further, I can with a grinder and just uh, make it nice and square. So that's kind of my theory here. Okay, so now we're just gonna very carefully cut this along this line. Okay, got one little screw up there, but that's why I left it a little bit wide. Hit it with the grinder and clean it all up. This way I can now detail grind it. So now I can put my mark here with a pencil. I'm gonna put it all the way down to this edge here. Um, it's perfect. You got to clean up a little edge right there and other than that it looks pretty darn good May need to nip it back just a little more into here uh, We'll see I'm probably gonna use a long board and some sandpaper to make sure it's perfectly square, but uh, looks good isn't it? So now I'm just trying to clean up uh, The edges here, so I'm just gonna take a file nice straight file And this will kind of make sure that it's all nice and straight Okay, so we've got our thing here. And what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to run the same pattern. So I'm gonna put two here, and then I'm gonna run the exact same distance all the way down. So I've gotta run two close to kind of support and tie this end down. Uh, I can't run one there because I'm barely on the edge, you can see. So that's not gonna fly. So that will be just the one here, it'll be two here, and then every so many down. So that's kind of what I'm planning on doing, but we'll lay this out, I'm probably gonna get this Upper one drilled in here is going to be half an inch back. Okay. And from here, probably half an inch back. And then over. If I remember right, I think. We did this just, yeah, we're just back there a little ways. Got my two first Clecos in. Now I can start measuring. Pretty close. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So now we can drill some holes. All the holes are now drilled. So now what I'm gonna do, this is the one thing that drives me nuts. You end up with so many chips in the garage, I can't let the dogs out here at all because it just goes right into their feet. You gotta tell everybody in the house, do not walk out here with bare feet because it's not gonna end up well for you. So we're gonna go through and drill those to the right tap size, which I happen to have right here. Since I drill so many 1032 holes, it's just, uh, Okay, so I'm gonna try tapping holes. I talked to somebody the other day, and uh, he said thin, thin metal, put a little bit of oil on the tap, and use a drill. And uh, really slow speed, turn the clutch way down. I get it to hold it's spinning in here which is probably a good thing oh my I think I just found a better way of uh, putting holes in here let's see if this works again Well, 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 doesn't that work great? So let's see if a screw fits in there good. If a screw fits in here good, boy, I just made a hell of a discovery. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, I think I've got myself a new way to tap holes that's a hell of a lot easier. Go figure, huh? So we'll keep tapping some holes here. Done. Wow, this is awesome. So, I should put a YouTube channel up just how to tap holes in uh, thin tubing because this is definitely the way to go. Loving it. So the holes are now tapped. So we'll go in here and I ordered a bunch of these, more of these flange head bolts. Yeah, the hole feels really good. So, yeah, I probably won't even put these in actually. That's kind of stupid. Because master cylinder's got to go up underneath there, but. But yeah, there you go. Looks good. Well, thanks for watching another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. On this episode, we put those two aluminum panels in there. So as you can see, I'll get more of a close up here. Totally changes the front of this car. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So I had 1032 screws. Uh, that way I can pull those panels back off if I need to, but uh, definitely cleans up the look of the car. As I said, this side will have two master cylinders sticking out. Try to leave this side clean. Hopefully I don't have to put any heater hoses in there, but we'll figure it out once I get to that stage. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of fabrication with some aluminum and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank you and see you next time.